Welcome to another video in our series on questions I get asked on training courses. Today, it's about the chart that won't work in Excel. So often when people say their chart won't work, well, I go and have a look at how it looks. And what you'll often find is that you'll have the data here on the left. And then when you actually look at the chart, you'll see it just comes up with this series one, series two, one, two, three, four, doesn't really mean anything to us. So let's just click on the chart and I'm just gonna click on the edge of the chart. Um, but when you when you click on a chart, think of it like you're, you're holding a mirror and a mirror you wouldn't kind of click right, you wouldn't hold it by the glass, you tend to hold it by the edge. So if you're not sure, just click on the edges of the chart and it will select the whole thing. Okay, so we've selected the chart, and then if you look, it's actually put a blue line around the part of the data that is included in the chart. And at no time have they included the headings, and this is where um, people tend to go wrong, is they include the data, but don't tell Excel where the headings are, and it needs to know where they are. So let's pop, um, what I'm doing, delete this, start again, and we'll see how we can get this to work. So let's, um, we've got the chart selected, tap delete to get rid of it. And I'm gonna start by in A1, just putting um, a heading in. So all my columns have got headings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the date into a table. And I find that tables and charts work really well together in Excel. And it does mean you can, um, increase your data, add to your data, and the chart will increase. So let's try that in a minute. Let's make the table first, and the shortcut for a table is Control T. Make sure your cursor is on your data. Um, if you want more shortcuts like that, don't forget to subscribe and follow our videos because there's gonna be loads of shortcuts. Um, we give you loads of useful stuff that you can use again and again. So let's choose OK and make that into a table. Now we've got the table, we can put the chart in. I just need to go up to the insert tab at the top and within the chart areas, that's over here, choose the one I want. I'm actually gonna choose this one here. So let's choose the little column chart there, click once. And I'm gonna go for 2D, you can choose whatever one you want. Okay, and it's gonna move that so it's nearer my data. So you'll see already it's actually included the information I want. And the advantage of this, let's say we wanted to put in our YouTube figures. So we're going to put YouTube underneath and we're going to put in, let's say, 600 and 1, 2, 3. And you'll see that's automatically been added to your chart. Now, also, because I like to tidy my data up, I'm going to show you we don't need a lot of this stuff that charts have, so we can get rid of it. So we're going to delete the title. So just click on the title once and tap your delete key. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some data labels. So we're gonna use, if you click on your chart and then click on the green cross and then choose data labels. And that will put in the number of each series. So all I need to do then, because I don't need the axes anymore, click on my left axes, that goes down the left hand side, right click it and choose delete. And I also don't need these grid lines, these gray lines that are going between. So I'm just gonna click once on them. You can see they're selected now, tap delete, and then just that makes it a lot clearer. So basically now I'm only showing the data I need to see. My chart will expand automatically. Um, I can also change the color. So if I decide to go for a different color, I can just right click and for instance, I would just choose the color I wanted. So if you wanted to brand this up, in your colors um, you can do uh, so let's let's go for a different let's go for a green there we go yes. okay so that is how you can get your data into a chart make it a table first if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe um, I'd love to hear from you what you might like to find out or have you got any questions you wanted to ask about Excel that you want me to do a video on thanks very much for watching